Hey, welcome to another radio related video and uh, this is a video for uh, all the newbies out there that are just starting out in the shortwave. Um, starting out in shortwave in 2013 is um, probably a little harder than it was 20 or 30 years ago. Um, there are less stations on the air and also the fact that um, interference is much more a problem today than 30 or 40 years ago. But uh, today it's a little tutorial to explain the different international broadcast bands. Now shortwave is technically from about 3 to 30 megahertz and there's lots of stuff to listen to and if you haven't watched those videos I've got uh, some videos megahertz by megahertz of the frequency, the HF frequency bands, and you should check that. Um, basically, I take each megahertz portion, like for example, 29 to 30, 28 to 29, and 27, 28, and, and go up to about 2 megahertz and um, talk about each band, each megahertz segments, and what you can hear on them. So, today we're just gonna check the uh, different international broadcast bands and um, do a quick roundup of the properties of each band. We're going to start with the 13 meter band. Um, yes, I'm aware there's 11 meter band, but uh, no stations are to be heard. Uh, no international broadcasters are, are to be heard on the 11 meter band. But we'll start with the 13 meter band. 13 meter band is from 21450, so it's 21450, and it's uh, and then 21450 and spans all the way up to 21850. This is really a daytime band. Let's see a few stations here. And it goes all the way to 850. This is a daytime band, so basically what you will hear uh, on this frequency band is mostly from sunrise to sunset. Um, in the summer times when days are really longer, maybe a little bit past sunset uh, in high solar activity I've noticed that you can from sometimes listen up to a few hours after sunset. Um, it's also really affected by solar activity, when solar activity is low you don't hear much. When solar activity is much higher, uh, the band does come alive with lots of signal. So this daytime band, 13 meters. Another uh, band that we'll talk about is the uh, 16 meter band, which starts at 17.480. This is another daytime band, uh, which is still affected by solar activity, but less than the 13 meters. It's uh, probably one of the um, used, I would say, um, it's used a lot in the daytime usually, and uh, you can hear signals even later at night when propagation permits and the days are longer, like in the summertime. And it stops at uh, 17,900. So you can see lots of signals. Um, not too crowded, but you know, some good signals to be heard. So this is mainly a daytime band, and uh, with some activity uh, sometimes. Um, a few hours after sunset, especially in the uh, summertime. And so sunrise to sunset is the general rule for the 16 meter band. We've got a very popular band that's the 19 meter band. Uh, I would say for the daytime band, uh, this is the most popular daytime band. Um, lots or if not most shortwave broadcasters use it at one time or another during the day. 
Uh, this is in the summertime. You will see signals from a little before sunrise to a few hours after sunset, sometimes even more. Uh, in the summertime, when a solar activity is high, uh, I've actually been able to hear 24 hours day signals on this band. Still, think of it as a mostly a daytime band up to a few hours after sunset. Very popular band for shortwave broadcasters during the day. So basically goes from 15.100 to 15.800, mostly a daytime band. Uh, like I said, lots of international broadcasters there and it's worth uh, listening to it uh, up to a few hours after sunset and sometimes even late evening. Uh, don't take for granted that because you're in the middle of the night you shouldn't actually uh, do a listen. Uh, you never know. And that it works for almost all the bands. And then we've got the 22 meter band which goes from 13.57 this is kind of an hybrid band uh, lots of signals uh, signals can be in the daytime evening uh, even sometimes middle of the, in the, of the night in uh, higher solar activity and uh, longer days So the 22 meter band, hybrid, you should uh, take a listen regardless of the time of day. It goes from 13.570 to 13.870. So this is the first portion of the band. We'll do a second video to uh, complete the other international broadcast bands and talk about their properties. Uh, so you can consider this video of being mostly the daytime bands. Uh, but still keep a listen to these bands uh, in the evening or late at night. You never know what you can hear. So, uh, and um, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, look at part two. Part two will be about the uh, lower international broadcast bands and uh, what you can, when you can hear them, and uh, what time of day is the best. So, seventy-three.